Hello and what is up YouTube? My name is G3Iron and welcome to today's discussion video where we just got the April expansion name reveal video to drop for the upcoming 321 Crucible League for Path of Exile. It is going to be released and available to play on April 7th at 1 p.m. and so we're all excited for that and I am here today with a couple of different thoughts pretty much some rambling thoughts with, you know, the giant, amazing, enormous, immersive background behind me of giant lava stomach guy and the mines or volcano. I don't know. <laughs> Whatever that zone is and arena is around our mystery crucible boss, potentially. Anyway, here's a couple of thoughts that I've got about this particular name reveal. First off, the first thing that came into my mind as soon as I saw this video, the beautiful staircases, the wonderful wide reaching area of this seeming arena, and then the relatively tiered and uh, pirouette-esque, tower-esque uh, sort of dimensions of the zone where you're interacting with this ginormous statue. It reminded me of Casa Doom from Lord of the Rings and Moria and Gimli and dwarves. And so that got me thinking, on the sort of random rabbit trail of word association games. All right, crucible, mines, delving. Well, we've already got Nico. We've already got the mines from delving. So it's probably not going to be a mines league. So let's take a step back. Mines, delving, no go, but crucible. Huh, a crucible is like a testing thing, a temptation thing, a trial thing, a place where a hero goes through a particular series of events and obstacles and challenges and then is proven coming out on the other side. For instance, you could even say the labyrinth to some extent is a sort of crucible for your characters that if you successfully go through it, there's rewards and all sorts of wonderful things to come from that. Well, Thinking in those terms about Crucible, I think the word for this particular league, for 321, is multifaceted and maybe is something of a meta commentary on kind of where we're at in the moment of being a Path of Exile community, as it were. I think there's plenty of players out there who, similarly to me, when Path of Exile 2 was announced a couple of years ago, we were all excited for Path of Exile 2. However, when you announce things and then there's a long, long waiting period, long is completely subjective, by the way. But when there is a long waiting period for something to occur, oftentimes hype, excitement, and even tension can enter the room. Frustration or confusion can enter the room in a relationship when something has been announced, but then not yet delivered on for, again, a subjective period of long time in between the announcement and the actual delivering of a thing. For instance, my wife and I have been waiting for a particular piece of mail. Uh, regarding uh, a vehicle that we own and we had sent a piece of mail and it took like seven days for the mail to get there and now it's already been seven days we're waiting for a return piece that seven days for us is a long period of time to wait for a particular piece of mail completely subjective and yet while we're waiting for the mail our frustration our confusion and even our tension in the relationship of waiting for this piece of mail to come seems to grow and i think the same thing has happened with the path of exile community in general since poe2 was announced at exilecon several years ago and since we're waiting for poe2 to come out on full release and be available for the general public i think there's a little bit of tension at this point and so 321 i think is aptly named for a crucible i think this league will be a bit of a crucible for the community and for the relationship between the community and grinding gear games and the game of path of exile until we get poe2 right Lots of players have enjoyed Forbidden Sanctum. Lots of players have made helpful and positive comments and positive responses to Forbidden Sanctum. You know, basically saying Forbidden Sanctum is, you know, the direction that the, that the game has moved with Forbidden Sanctum is definitely what players want the game to look more like than versus, well, really all of the year prior to Forbidden Sanctum, right? Everybody pretty much that I've covered or that I have watched or that I've read has pretty much said... Look, the whole year before Forbidden Sanctum was awful, and Iron, you were lucky to have missed it. That's the general impression that I've got. So, coming back with Crucible after Forbidden Sanctum is an interesting follow-up to what may have been one of the more popular times to come back and return playing Path of Exile, which is during Forbidden Sanctum. 
Lots of players liked interacting with the various game modes that were available with Forbidden Sanctum. I came back particularly so that way I could play Ruthless. And now Crucible seems to be a moment that is unique in the marketing cycle and in the marketing minds and in the marketing timeline of Path of Exile 1 and its relationship to Path of Exile 2. Here's what I mean by that. It is no accident that on the day before Diablo 4 is about to have an opening beta weekend hype thing, early access play thing, literally the day before that, Grinding Gear Games, knowing who their big competition in the action RPG space is, comes out with their name reveal for their upcoming league. That's no accident. There's too many coincidences here to say, oh yeah, you know, Blizzard has been planning this weekend for a beta trial run through of Diablo 4 and Grinding Gear Games just totally dropped the ball and missed out that it was on an overlapping weekend and that they would have competing announcements and competing eyeballs and competing attention and competing conversation in the action RPG community. There's too many coincidences here. There's good marketing going on and, and good business savvy on both sides of the equation for this particular weekend and for this name drop. But then in addition to that, not only is the timing of the name drop appropriate, but of course the name itself being a crucible saying that this particular league is going to be an interesting crucible for Path of Exile 1. And here's why. Diablo 4 releases, full-on release, the scheduled, you know, premiered, packaged, marketed release date for the full-on game is June 6th. That's going to be a big summer blockbuster, right? So here's the thing. During a typical Path of Exile league, there is roughly a three month turnaround time, right? We get four leagues a year, there's 12 months in a year. Typically leagues average about two and a half months in terms of their life cycle, uh, in, in terms of when they're available and then they're down for about a week, right? So that's what you're looking at. Four new expansions every single year divides into roughly three months worth of hype cycle, et cetera, et cetera, being available to play for a particular league. So if this league, Crucible 321, is going to be available the first, you know, long weekend of April, April 7th, if that's when Crucible is going to come out, which that's when it's going to come out, then that means three months from there, April, May, June, and then typically what we would see is a July release of a summer league by Grinding Gear Games and Path of Exile. But with ExileCon also in the mix, and with the extension of Forbidden Sanctum, remember Forbidden Sanctum didn't run for the regular amount of time. It didn't run for the regular number of weeks, for the regular number of months. Forbidden Sanctum got extended and there were some also some community special events that were thrown in there. By the way, the community events uh, during the end of Forbidden Sanctum by far have been the most poo-pooed and poorly received community events, at least since I started playing Path of Exile. Like, no one has enjoyed them. I, as a Ruthless player, did not enjoy playing Ruthless with Gold. I think those two things counteract each other entirely in what they're trying to do. Uh, several players who didn't enjoy Ruthless didn't come in and all of a sudden go, oh, yay, I'm playing with Gold, and now all of a sudden I like Ruthless. Anyway, it's very interesting. Then the whole, like, multiplayer side of things, I've heard no one say anything good about that yet. So it's just very interesting. So back on the main trail. So we've got PoE2 coming, but we don't have a date for that. We've got D4 that does have a date. We've got Crucible that now has a release date, April 7th, but we don't necessarily have an end date because the most recent Path of Exile expansion, 320 Forbidden Sanctum, has had a shift in how long it's going to last, right? So now there's precedent for GGG to say, hey, maybe we're going to tweak Crucible. Maybe Crucible will somehow mysteriously be, be a little bit shorter. I highly doubt that. But maybe at ExileCon, we get a huge surprise and we're like, hey guys, here's PoE2. And by the way, it's way better than D4. Maybe. Maybe we get something like that. Maybe we don't. Maybe we get another league or two. Who knows? We've yet to see exactly what that timeline is going to look like. And I think that's why, again, 321 is appropriately named as a crucible. This is going to be a very interesting time, a time of testing, a time of trial, and a time where a whole lot of players throughout the course of this year are going to make up their minds about whether or not they want to play something like Last Epoch, something like Lost Ark, something like Diablo 4, or if they want to continue playing Path of Exile 1, if that's what's still available, or if there is an early release or a beta release or something released about PoE2, if that's going to enter into the mix. So it's going to be very, very interesting. Also, lastly, just a few more rabbit trail notes about Crucible. 
it's going to be interesting to see if this is more of like a boss oriented league or if this is more of a like crafting and like mini currency kind of oriented league. The trailer behind me makes me think boss, right? Like I look at this arena, I look at this zone and I go, this is almost like Comb or Karuai, right? Like isn't Comb the fire guy and lava and all that sort of stuff? I'm sure the lore people are already working on this video and going to figure it out. But that's what it screams to me. So if it's going to be fiery and lorey and maybe there's a boss involved, etc. Maybe there will be something kind of like the uh, apex in the temple of the Vol, where like you can sacrifice an item. There's clearly a crafting table here where there's lava that's on its way towards it. Does that mean that we interact with something there? Does it mean we just get rewards there? It's going to be interesting. Anyway, those are all of my thoughts. Those are all of my previews. Those are all of my predictions. I'd love to hear yours down below in the comments and I'll respond to them as time allows me to do so. What are your thoughts about the released name, the teased name now known, the Crucible for the upcoming 321 Path of Exile League? Feel free to drop me a comment down below. And as always, I hope the upcoming 321 Crucible League and, and this guy, whenever you kill him or fight him or interact with him or read his lore, I hope he drops a Mirror of Calandra for you. Thanks for watching that video. If you'd like more information on any of our discussion points today, you can see them down below in the video description. If you'd also like to join our Discord or support our Patreon, you can do so with the links down below. Thanks again and big shout out to all of our Patreon supporters.